Alright guys, how's it going? Welcome to Real Classic Film Reviews and welcome to the section of the channel where we have a little bit of a deep dive into some classic film releases that I've picked up on home video. Um, bit of a mixed bag this month, or for last month I should say. This was the pickups that I grabbed in the month of June uh, as we've kind of just gone into July now. So I'm going to show you what I've already picked up. Like I said, not a great deal, but there's a mixture of titles here. There's um, some 4K, some DVDs even, as you can see on the top of that stack there. Um, a couple of kind of boutique Blu-rays and a nice little box set as well I picked up at the end. So stay tuned for that. But we're going to kind of kick things off with, if you follow my uh, social media accounts, my Instagram account, you'll know that recently I've been on a bit of a an 80s comedy binge um, and therefore I picked up a few kind of comedy classics from the 80s including this one um, this is Uncle Buck obviously starring the late great John Candy um, a John Hughes film from the very late 80s this I think 89 yeah uh, but really look I want to kind of revisit a lot of these old 80s classics and I think that I don't know about you guys but I go through these periods of time uh, where I kind of you know, go through binges of watching specific films. So I'll go on like a film noir binge or a Western binge or, you know, a 70s, uh, you know, Italian action binge. But I feel like a, a binge for 80s classic comedies and maybe some kind of uh, late 70s and early 90s ones as well. But I'm definitely going to start with films like Uncle Buck, which I picked up. Um, similarly picked up uh, The Great Outdoors, again, starring the, uh, the late, great John Candy. I think this was 88. I think it was 88. Uh, I literally cannot remember the last time I saw this. I think I was a very young kid when I saw The Great Outdoors last, so I'm very much looking forward to revisiting that. Um, massive Aykroyd and Candy fan, so definitely looking forward to that. Um, and again, John Candy in uh, you know the, the comedy classic Planes, Trains and Automobiles with the, uh, the great Steve Martin there, uh, another John Hughes film. And I can't remember for the life of me, I'm not sure if, I, if it says anywhere on this when this was released, but I want to say again, it was the late 80s. I'm kind of going with 1987 probably, but Planes, Trains and Automobiles, you know, a kind of classic Christmas movie as well, or Thanksgiving movie to be more specific. Definitely looking forward to revisiting that. And then finally, again, which is not an 80s film, but a very early 90s film, um, and that's City Slickers. Uh, Billy Crystal, Daniel Stern, Bruno Kirby, and obviously uh, Jack Palance there as well, who kind of famously or infamously won Best Supporting Actor Oscar for uh, being curly in this for about five minutes. But, um, you know, it's Palance and you can't really can't really argue with him. He, he, he's an absolute a classic actor, but definitely looking forward to checking that out. And I don't believe in researching and having a little look at this, I don't believe I've actually seen City Slickers 2. I know there's a, a sequel to this. And I might have done. I might I might kind of track it down and start watching it and realise that I have. But off the top of my head, I don't think I ever got round to watching the sequel to this. Uh, here, mixed things about it probably shouldn't have really existed, but definitely uh, in the mood to check out some 80s and early 90s comedy classics. Uh, and sticking with the DVDs, just briefly, I also picked up uh, Armchair Theatre Volume 1, um, contemporary drama from the groundbreaking anthology series. Now, this was uh, screened, or uh, this was a, an ITV flagship drama anthology in the UK on UK TV right throughout the 50s and into the 70s. Um, this is Volume 1 of it. Never seen any of the um, episodes on this that I'm aware of, but I have been watching some plays for today, uh, plays for Britain stuff on a Blu-ray set that I got and also I've been watching a few episodes on YouTube and really kind of got in the mood for some kind of period uh, British TV. Um, you know, you, you kind of spot some of the kind of great actors in there. There's Beckinsale there. Um, who, else is in, who else is in this? Uh, Billy Whitelaw, Richard Beckinsale, Peter Barkworth, Rita Tushingham, Beryl Reid. Whole kind of uh, menagerie of British acting talent on hand there. And this contains, what's that, two, four, five, six, I don't know, like a good handful of, uh, of episodes. It's uh, just a, you know, a two disc set. So definitely looking forward to checking this out um, and kind of, you know, following up on my love of, you know, kind of gritty 70s or 50s, 60s and 70s TV. So definitely looking forward to checking that out. Uh, right onto some 4K titles now. Uh, again, like I did with the 80s uh, comedy DVDs, 
a little bit of a 90s um, action bill, um, double bill here in the form of um, Cliffhanger on 4K. Obviously, uh, the Stallone mountaineering classic, if you like, I suppose you could call it now. Genuinely one of the best action films of the 90s. One of my favourite action films, to be honest, uh, still stands up today. Haven't had a chance to crack this open and have a little look at the 4K transfer, but I do hear that it's a good one. So I'm definitely looking forward to checking that out. One of the best action thrillers of the 90s. Um, so yeah, that's Cliffhanger on 4K. So uh, if you've seen that, guys, and you've uh, had a chance to check out the transfer, then definitely let me know what you think of it. But I'm sure, I've, I'm sure I hear that's a good one. So I'm definitely looking forward to getting that booted up. And then I picked up the um, 4K release of Speed. I think it dropped down to like a cheap price and managed to snag it. Uh, I have actually had a little look through this one. Again, great transfer. Great, great transfer, sorry. Um, I actually really enjoyed the cover art on that one. And I know there was some, uh, not controversy, but a few words said when they released the artwork for the Steelbook recent steel book um, and I'd normally get suckered into a steel book purchase but I reckon that the artwork on this is far superior to the steel book which had a kind of yellowy look to it um, a yellow theme whereas this is just kind of rings tr more true to the actual movie itself I think so obviously you know definitely one of the best action films of the 90s if not one of my favorite action films and probably one of my top 10 action films of all time actually if I'm honest uh, really love this owned it on probably every format that's uh, ever been released but looking forward to having a good kind of sit down and watching the entire um movie in 4k uh, definitely looking forward to that just don't mention speed 2 right moving on we've got uh, another 4k release and that is blade runner finally managed to get a copy of blade runner i've had blade runner 2049 on 4k for a while um and i've seen little snippets of this i think when i was in hmv and they were playing it on the you know the little 4k setup they have and it looked astonishing and I really can't wait to sit down and have a little watch of one of my favourite sci-fi films of all time. Uh, the original Blade Runner, the final cut. Um, just, well, you know, nothing else I can say about Blade Runner that you don't already, you know, just go watch it. And next I picked up a, a BFI release and that is Symptoms, um, which I've not seen. Uh, but I kind of, I was going through a kind of 70s uh, gothic horror slasher phase uh, kind of watching films like I Start Counting and Fright and then stumbled upon this uh, which stars um, the daughter of Donald Pleasance uh, Angela Pleasance who actually looks obviously spookily like Donald Pleasance um, but yeah really looking forward to checking this out uh, a modern gothic horror film it's called uh, you know a girl invited to stay at a remote, a remote country mansion uh, brings a girlfriend, um, interrupted by uh, the menacing presence of a, a creepy gamekeeper. Sounds right on my alley. Really looking forward to watching it. Like I said, it's a BFI release on the BFI flip side. So two discs, um, nice little booklet there as well. So looking forward to spending a bit of time with that and checking out the extras because they always do a great job on these BFI flip side releases. So that's symptoms again. If you've seen this, guys, you know, let me know if it's any good or what your thoughts are of that. Um, right, and I picked up the Eureka Masters of Cinema um, release of uh, Edvard Munch by Peter Watkins, which I've not seen, and I'll be very, very honest, I don't know anything about it. Uh, it was in the, uh, I got it for a great price on Amazon, and it's been on my wish list for a long time, something I really want to check out. Again, Eureka Masters of Cinema, so I'm not going to go too wrong uh, with what's on here and the special features and whatnot but you know look at that you know masters of cinema they always kind of pull out all the stops and make a great release so really i don't know anything about the subject matter i know that it's a biography a film of a famous artist which again i don't know a great deal about the buckler is obviously book is obviously substantial um with it being a masters of cinema release fantastically presented all the way through so yeah, again, guys, if you've seen this, if you're familiar with it, then please, by all means, let me know what you think of it down in the comments below. Uh, spy number 139 for people who are interested in that kind of thing. Um, but yeah, just such a, a good package. Um, and you know, that's what's great about the, um, you know, the Masters of Cinema series or any boutique 
series like that, that boutique label like that, is that they do introduce you to films that you might not not ordinarily have, you know, been exposed to. So I'm definitely looking forward to that occurring with this. And then finally, guys, I picked up the um, Studio Canal uh, Vintage Classics edition of Dam Busters, which is, uh, you know, one of my favourite war films. Uh, per, well, one of my favourite personal war films, uh, 1955, you know, really kind of great British stiff upper lip um, Second World War film. Maybe the kind of thing that's not for everybody these days, but this set is, you know, is comprehensive to say the least it's uh, a big thick box set weighs a ton i will it's the, the amount of gear that's in here i won't have the time slash opportunity to kind of really dig deep into it but i'll give you a kind of overview of it there but i mean all the way through this thing you know the uh the presentation is just impeccable the amount of discs and um artwork and, and things like that that are in there if i can just maneuver myself around the camera i mean look at this crikey I mean, what have we got in here? We've got the DVD um, feature. We've got the special features. Uh, we've got the Blu-ray edition there. But yeah, right the way through it. Look at all that. And then this, uh, this the section here that contains all of the uh, paraphernalia is, again, just you know, crikey. I mean, look at the state of this. We've got kind of reconnaissance air photos of... Um, you know, the dam that they're attempting to blow up with this new found kind of technology that they've been developing in order to bounce bombs against the water in order to penetrate the dam. A whole thing of postcards there, uh, a big thick booklet again with all of the, um, crikey, there's like, it's almost like a, a history book with all the bits and pieces in there. Um, what was that? All right, okay, yeah, so Lancaster poster of all the different planes if you're that kind of if you're into that kind of thing and then obviously all the discs as well inside there um i'll put that away off camera because it's a beast but yeah that's uh dam busters from 1955 really looking forward to um getting stuck into some of the special features on that it's an excellent release and guys that brings us to the end and everything i picked up in june um keep watching the channel really appreciate all the new subscribers drop a like on the video if you've enjoyed this and subscribe to the channel um for more classic film reviews unboxings updates and i'll see you all very soon bye bye